In this video, we're going to talk about the comparison of the Torwell Poly spreader versus our major competitor. You'll notice here that we have a dual electric drive, two, two separate DC motors, a three-quarter horsepower conveyor motor, and a small amperage spinner motor. We also have the controller, which gets wired from the truck battery to here. The difference with the competitor's model is that all of the the, uh, the conveyor motor and the controller are mounted down here on the conveyor system and what happens there is that all of the sand and salt and spillage and rain um, is infiltrating these motors and the, and the, the uh, controller box. $700 a piece is very expensive. We show a picture in our pamphlet of the competitor's model after one year of operation and you can see that the control, the control box and the motor are totally corroded and need to be replaced, not ours. As you can see here, once our cover is attached to the back end of our spreader, the two motors and the control box are completely covered. Our major competitor's motor and control box are mounted out here in the weather unprotected. We have a simple rubber bushing to mount our spinner shaft to the spinner motor. The competition, because they're taking that back end off the unit, has to drive their spinner shaft with a separate gearbox and a chain. Much more maintenance, much more things to break. Simple bushing tie-on for the spinner shaft. Our competition has two grab or hold handles and they tell you in their literature do not use these as a tie down because it could vo void your warranty. Torwell spreader we have integrated tie down brackets that you can use with the straps that we supply to try to tie down to the truck bed floor. Ours are integrated. Our competition wants you to drill holes through your truck bed floor and bolt it down to the chassis much more of a uh, expense and not practical. We install a, a body stop and what this does is, is it keeps the spreader up tight against the back of the truck but also holds it so that it can't slide forward towards the cab or the window in the back of the cab. Nobody else offers that. We do as part of our options. We supply a poly top and we supply the buttons that you need to do. So you put the top on here, you locate the strap, you drill in your little snap, and that's how you custom fit it to your spreader. This is a wireless system. This is the handheld controller. We need 12 volts to power the LED light. Uh, simple, simple design. You can, once you've turned on the switch, you can uh, speed up or slow down both the conveyor and the spinner. You can preset your spinner and your conveyor speed at say 5 and 8 and then you're going along you can shut the power off the, the spinner and the conveyor will stop and if you find it you're coming to an area where you need to resand again you come back in and you throw the switch on and that simply brings us back to the conveyor being at 5 and the spinner being at 8 on and off, simple, uh, pre-programmed, one station, uh, nice design, nice feature.